Hello YouTubers, we're outside on a basement patio and we're under a deck and we're getting ready to hang a ceiling fan. There used to be a ceiling fan in this space but I had to take it down because it was not wired correctly. It was wired with 14 gauge wire on a 20 amp breaker and I never really liked the installation anyway. So we're going to do this properly with the appropriate exterior fan rated materials. This is where the wire comes out. This is the power to the fan. The wire that you see there is a 12-3 with ground. And we'll run a conduit over to roughly the center section here. I've measured out where I want the fan. I'm going to put some blocking in. And then we'll hang the box. The box that I plan on using to hang the ceiling fan is kind of special. This is an exterior rated fan rated box. This is made by Arlington Industries. It comes in bronze or white. It's all plastic. This particular one is in the bronze color which is basically a brown. Uh, it comes in several pieces. There is the box itself which is a fairly standard plastic exterior box. It has multiple knockouts for three quarter inch conduit. This particular box comes with half inch to three quarter inch adapters if you don't want to use the three quarter inch size. And then the important thing about this is that it has the flange and this flange is large enough so that when the canopy for the fan is mounted to the bottom it's completely sealed. This way you don't have a bowl essentially that can get filled with water when it rains. Arlington provides some very long screws with this and these will go all the way through the flange and the box and then into the wood of the blocking above. They've really done a good job engineering this system. This is the depth of the box, so that plus three quarters of an inch will give me how far back I want my screws in the blocking from the edge of the joist. So I've lagged in the blocking for the fan box. I used some really nice exterior rated three inch long Spax screws. I've left a gap between these two boards because I want a place for water to drain. The conduit that I'm going to use is 3 quarter inch PVC. I'm going to have to put a few bins in it. I could buy some pre-made elbows, but if you use a heat gun, and this is just a paint stripping gun, and you heat the PVC enough, you can bend it. I'm just bending this with my hands to the shape that I need and I'll hold it there for a few minutes to let it re-solidify. I've used a framing square to check my bin and it looks pretty good. A couple of bins in the conduit and it's ready to be glued and mounted. So I've marked my holes and pre-drilled because I know that with the screws as long as they are there's a risk of splitting the board by not having a pilot hole. This conduit is installed. Now it's time to feed the wire and complete the connection. Pass some 12 gauge THWN without using a pull string or lubricant. No problems at all passing the wire through the conduit. Use some exterior rated wire nuts to complete the connections. is installed and now we'll put it in the fan bracket. This will go here with the long screws going through the box and into the wood blocking. Here's why the Arlington exterior fan box is important. This fan was previously installed in a regular exterior box but not a fan box and you can see that water was accumulating in this canopy cover. In fact, it started to rust on the inside. 
I'm going to try to clean this up so I can use it again. But now this will go up against the Arlington fan box and it should be protected pretty well. The old fan is cleaned up a little bit and I've cut off and re-stripped the wires to make the new connections. I've lifted the fan and set it into the mount and then I rotate the fan until the groove in the ball contacts the uh, tab that's on the bracket. And there we go. It's seated in place. And now I make up the connections and attach the trim. So again, I've used the exterior rated wire nuts. It may be a little bit overkill, but it's a nice reassurance to know that they're there. And here we are. This is the finished job. Everything is installed. The fan is working. All in all, it's a good result. Thank you for watching.